Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we did the repeat for this year, 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like many, many others. Today I'm sure this 2009 Mazda Excella sedan that just came in. It's got 74,000 kilometers on it, which is about 45,000 miles. That is it. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon, you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Mazda XL sedan is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Totally up to you. Before I go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your win windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's going to be that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, uh, you may want to consider getting a, um, a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, get yourself a larger size uh, bath towel or a beach towel. Um, lighter in color and drape it across the dash. So with that, let's jump on the side. Let's get this started. Like I said, it's just coming in, so it's going to be a little dirty. Key fob on your person, it is a push start, so foot on the brake, push this one time, and it goes. Let's get, just get this up here for a second. Alrighty. Oops. Let's, uh, turn that radio off. Oops. Sorry, Troy. Alright. 74,048 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights, that one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts, they do get tickets on and off base. This blue one over here, that's your temperature gauge. So it's going to be blue when the engine's cool, and it's going to remain on, that's normal. It's going to go away when the engine warms up, that's normal. And then it's going to be uh, red if it's overheating, be able to look out for that, that's not normal. And then this one over here is your uh, emergency brake. This one's a hand brake, so when you disengage it goes away, engage it comes right back on. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please take immediate action, pull over and find out uh, what it is. And like I said, take immediate action. Off the left here, you do have a couple of displays. The display to the left is going to show you the uh, uh, air conditioning settings. And this is going to show you like how many kilometers you have left with the gas that you have, how many kilometers per liter and stuff and so forth. It's only kanji, so you have to play with it. It's also going to give you the outside temperature and the time. All right, then you have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. Air conditioning controls, uh, non-smoking tray and power outlet. Your shifter, oops, let me back that up. The handbrake as I told you about, cup holders, and a little armrest that if you push it, uh, the button on, on the front, it's gonna get extended out a little bit more. And then a little more uh, storage down here is gonna give you an extra power outlet. Continue to the left. You have this two-tier glove box, okay? Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is now... Hold on. All right, the seat is now all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable right here, or I could slide Slide it up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. Um, and it does have a compartment for your sunglasses. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Way back. 
Uh, I normally take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep this inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. Then this guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader, electronic toll collection, uh, collector. I know it says collection, I like saying collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. So let's go over a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Um, it does have the paddle shifts, okay? Uh, if you need a little extra speed or whatnot, you're going to use this section right here. It does have a cord here that you're going to park, uh, plug into the uh, power outlet. And it looks like it has a plug in here, so I'm not exactly sure what it, what it is. Uh, the extra thing might come through the mail because sometimes they take that stuff off and while the uh, car is being transported down. So I'm not sure what that is. Then I'm going to put the key back where it was right there. And then... Let's, I'm going to keep this off. So I don't know what these three are, so you can uh, look on the internet, find out what those are. And I, I guess I could do it, but then my um, video will be a little bit longer. But I can comment on the eye stop, okay? The eye stop is like idling off. So when you're at a stop sign, I'm not a big fan of it during the summertime because if you're at a stop sign or a stop light for an extended period of time, your engine's turning off. That means your air conditioning compressor is turning off. So you have to rely on the cool air inside to be recirculated. But it's going to warm up during these uh, brutal summers out here. So uh, once you start going again, then it's got to cool down the car again. So I'm not a big fan of that during the summertime. But your choice, you're, you want to be, uh, you know, save a little more gas, you can do that. Then you have a pocket for storage underneath. Underneath that, you have your hood release. Please don't forget down here, you have your trunk release and also your gas cover release. On the door panel, you have your mirror, window, and door lock controls right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on a brake. You're just going to push this one time and it turns off. here all right all right so the seat all the way back going down i'm pretty much flush uh to the back seat of my knees uh, nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat but you got pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat as always be careful what you put in there you don't want to rip it on each side and then you do have a cup holder on each door panel and an armrest that comes down that's going to give you two cup holders okay I already popped the hood, the uh, trunk back here. You are able to push this button and that'll release it as well. Or open it. All right, there you go. Nice size trunk. And then you do have the ability, forgot to show you. It has a button on each side that if you want to put these down, you can put those down by pushing down on that button. Let's go up front here. We're going to show you the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. This is a two liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And then you can see how that's shiny right there. Unfortunately, these get the, what I call the sticky dash or uh, melting dash syndrome. Um, it just starts melting, so it's unfortunate. But there you have it, 2009 Mazda Excella sedan. It's got 74,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 45,000 miles. Military prices are at 5,300 with additional military discount. We'll get it down to 5,100. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5100 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. And yes, it is very windy out here. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny G's Cars and show we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright. We're taking it as a 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.